It's like we're standing on the precipice of something big, isn't it? Are you curious about the seismic shifts brewing beneath the surface of our existence? It takes great courage to truly grasp the magnitude of the changes unfolding around us and to embrace the roles we've chosen to enact in this cosmic drama. Dolores Cannon's words about impending turbulence certainly make you pause, ponder, and think. So, let's dive into the rabbit hole and explore what she's all about. You see, Dolores Cannon wasn't just any ordinary thinker. She was a trailblazer in the realms of the unseen and the unknown. Her work, particularly in The Convoluted Universe Book 3, is like a roadmap to the mysteries of our universe. Imagine this. A world where we're not just passive observers, but active participants in our human evolution. That's the knowledge Dolores brings to the table. But before we go any further, let's give a shout out to all the brave souls who signed up for this wild ride called life. Now let's get real. Why did we sign up for this cosmic roller coaster? What's the deal with all this talk of turbulence? To get to the bottom of these questions, we need to understand the seismic shifts happening within and around us. It's like our reality is undergoing a major renovation, changing vibes, accelerating energies, the whole shebang. But why? What's the grand plan behind all of this? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? We're talking about a cosmic transition here, folks. A change so big that it's rewriting the rule book of existence. And hey, maybe along the way we'll find some answers to the questions that have been keeping us up at night. Much turbulence is looming on the horizon, and each of us has made the conscious decision to depart from the sanctuary of our spiritual realms and inhabit the present moment amidst these monumental shifts in consciousness and energy. But why did we volunteer for this mission? To grapple with these inquiries, we must first acknowledge that we stand amidst a profound shift in the very essence of our reality, a shift not confined solely to external circumstances, but woven deeply into our internal vibrations and frequencies. At its core lies the acceleration of energies and the elevation of vibrations sweeping across our dimension. These changes are not mere abstract notions. They are tangible forces molding and reshaping our reality. The crux of the matter lies in our immersion within a grand cosmic transition, a transformation so profound that it surpasses the bounds of human comprehension. This transition entails a multifaceted process encompassing the Earth's response to natural forces, human endeavors, and the influx of new energies and beings beyond our conventional understanding. Much like a vessel navigating through tumultuous waters, we find ourselves embarking upon a phase of tremendous turbulence in our collective journey. The question beckons, are we adequately prepared for the trials that lie ahead? It's one thing to theorize about change and transformation when they remain abstract concepts, but as these shifts materialize within our physical reality, the challenge becomes palpably real. The pivotal lesson we glean from this is that comprehension and preparation, while essential, are insufficient. We must embody our wisdom when confronted with the chaos of transformation. Imagine a world in which individuals are disoriented, perplexed, and submerged in profound pain. In the midst of such upheaval, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the chaos unfolding around us. But what if I told you that within this turbulence lies an opportunity for growth and service unlike any other? It's true. As we navigate through these challenging times, those of us who have cultivated inner stability and a deep sense of grounding will emerge as beacons of light amidst the storm. But here's the million dollar question. Can we truly maintain our composure amidst such turmoil? It's a valid concern. After all, Human nature tends to crumble in the face of chaos. However, it's precisely in these moments that our presence and energy are needed most. Instead of getting caught up in the chaos, we have the opportunity to become vessels of tranquility, embodying the calm amidst the storm and radiating that stability to those around us. Think of yourself as a lighthouse standing firm against the raging sea, guiding ships safely to shore. Your mere presence can make a world of difference to those who are struggling to find their way. Take Anne, for example, a client of Dolores Cannon, who has undergone her own journey of transformation. Anne's life experiences have served as her training ground, from a childhood characterized by abusive and unstable parents to a chaotic marriage. 
These trials have equipped her with the resilience needed to navigate the turbulent waters of change. Anne's story is a powerful reminder that our past experiences, no matter how challenging, can prepare us for the roles we've chosen to fulfill in these transformative times. Now, let's dive into the intriguing concept of the two Earths, a topic that has sparked intense discussion in spiritual and metaphysical circles. According to these teachings, our journey forward involves a division into two distinct Earths, the Old Earth and the New Earth. The Old Earth represents the familiar world, where many are still tethered to their existing belief systems and vibrational frequencies. This reality will persist for those who choose to remain in it or are not yet prepared to embrace the profound changes unfolding. On the flip side, we have the New Earth, a realm characterized by a higher vibrational state where individuals have aligned their energies with the accelerating frequencies of transformation. Here, old limitations and paradigms fade away, making room for new possibilities and potentials to emerge. But let's not sugarcoat it. Transitioning to the new earth comes with its fair share of challenges. Turbulence and chaos will be experienced on both fronts. On the old earth, Turbulence arises from the dismantling of long-held belief systems and societal structures and the awakening of individuals to truths that were once hidden. Yet, it's crucial to understand that this turbulence isn't solely external. The resistance of those in positions of authority who refuse to relinquish control and acknowledge the changing tides also serves as fuel for it. Their efforts to maintain fear-based manipulation are evident in the propagation of fictitious threats like diseases and conflicts. Fear, as a tool of control, has been deeply ingrained in human societies for generations. It's been used to keep individuals in line, diminish their power, and enslave their minds. But as the energies of transformation surge, fear is being brought to the surface, exposed, and confronted head-on. The media and entertainment industries have long thrived on perpetuating fear, feeding the public a steady diet of negative and sensationalized content. But in today's age of information and connectivity, people are awakening to a new reality. They're starting to question the narrativists they've been fed and the truths they've blindly accepted. This awakening journey isn't a walk in the park, though. It's a process fraught with challenges as individuals confront their deepest fears and inner demons. However, it's a necessary step toward true liberation. The use of conflicts, diseases, and other manufactured threats by those in positions of authority is merely a tactic to engender fear and uphold power. While these threats may have some basis in reality, they're often blown out of proportion to serve a hidden agenda. It's crucial for us to discern between the exaggerated narratives spun by the media and the actual truths of our existence. As individuals awaken to these truths, they reclaim their power and break free from the chains of fear. It's like a cleansing process, purging the toxins from our collective consciousness. But those in power aren't going down without a fight. They'll continue to employ fear-based tactics until they're backed into a corner, forcing humanity to make a choice. And that's where we come in. As grounded and stable beings, our role becomes paramount. We're not here to force our truths on others or judge their journey. Instead, we're here to offer a steady hand amidst the chaos, a beacon of light for those lost in confusion. Our mere presence can be a lifeline for those teetering on the edge of awakening. Just imagine the chaos that could erupt when the illusions people have built their lives upon come crashing down. It's like a global natural disaster multiplied a hundredfold. But amidst this turmoil lies a profound opportunity for those who've chosen to be here at this moment. We're called to stand ready, like soldiers awaiting their orders, prepared to usher in a new era of enlightenment and transformation. Our mission is clear, to maintain our grounded energy, stand firm in our truth, and extend a helping hand to those standing at the crossroads of vibrational evolution. But what does it mean to be at the either-or moment in this context? It's a pivotal juncture in an individual's spiritual journey where they face a crucial decision. At this crossroads, a soul may have the chance to ascend to a higher vibration, provided they summon the courage to take the leap. Alternatively, they may choose to remain in their current vibrational state. In these moments, our role is to be the guiding light for those souls contemplating the leap into higher consciousness. We become the catalysts for their ascension, 
bridging the gap between their old and new selves. It's a profound act of service, one that can profoundly impact the trajectory of a soul's journey. Now, let's debunk a common misconception. The idea that the new earth is a utopian paradise free from challenges. In reality, it's simply a different vibrational frequency, a realm where individuals have aligned themselves with the energies of transformation. Yes, there's turbulence here too, but it's of a different nature. On the new earth, the challenges are growth-oriented, pushing individuals to adapt to a higher vibrational existence. This isn't about the chaotic dismantling of belief systems, it's about exploring new frontiers of consciousness. And here's the kicker. The chaos we're witnessing today is just the tip of the iceberg. It's merely a precursor to a deeper transformation that will unfold in the years to come. While many have prophesied this transformation, our role in the process cannot be overstated. As the traditional structures of governance falter and societal safety nets begin to fray, individuals will find themselves navigating uncharted waters. The assurances of social security, stable incomes, and conventional employment may no longer be as reliable as they once were. It's like a domino effect. A single piece falling sets off a chain reaction of events. Similarly, the breakdown of societal norms will trigger a wave of transformation, challenging individuals to adapt to a new way of living. Just imagine the aftermath of natural disasters, but on a global scale. These catastrophic events, whether sparked by natural phenomena or human intervention, will serve as catalysts for chaos. Some of these circumstances might be beyond our control, while others might be the work of those in positions of authority who oppose change. Their resistance is a key driver of the turbulence we're experiencing. But here's the thing, fear has long been a tool of control in human societies. It's the currency through which many have wielded authority and dominance. Fear permeates societies, creating an atmosphere of pervasive unease. Yet, what we're witnessing now goes beyond mere external events. It's a shift in the very consciousness of humanity. The emergence of new energies, information, and possibilities has shaken the foundations of the old world order. The fear-based systems that once held sway are crumbling, and people are waking up to a new reality. Technology and global connectivity have played a pivotal role in this awakening, facilitating the spread of information and connecting like-minded individuals across the globe. The rise of technology and global connectivity has empowered individuals to access information, connect with like-minded souls, and challenge the narratives pushed by those in power. What was once hidden beneath the surface, fear, doubts, and unresolved issues, is now surfacing to be acknowledged and released. This process of transformation is akin to a deep cleansing. It dredges up long dormant fears and societal issues that must be confronted and transmuted for energy to flow freely. Whether on a personal or collective level, these issues demand our attention and resolution. The surge of new energies is bringing blockages, whether they are karmic in origin or self-inflicted, to the surface. These blockages hinder our vibrational growth, manifesting as physical symptoms, diseases, and emotional hurdles. It's a storm within the soul, shaking loose the debris of old wounds and unresolved conflicts. Yet, confronting this darkness isn't about fear or rejection. It's about recognizing that our shadow holds valuable lessons and insights. Embracing and transforming it allows us to fully embody the light. This turbulence also acts as a wake-up call. But awakening isn't always smooth sailing. It can be disorienting and challenging. It's like navigating through fog, where familiar landmarks disappear. In moments of doubt, we can reconnect with our purpose by asking, why am I here now? What higher purpose does this turbulence serve? These questions help realign us with our soul's path, offering meaning amidst chaos. The teachings stress the importance of tuning into our intuition and inner guidance. By cultivating inner stillness, we can hear the whispers of our intuition, gaining clarity and direction. Our thoughts, beliefs, and intentions are the guiding forces as we navigate this transformative period. Grounded in resilience and connected to our inner guidance, we pave the way for a new earth where love and unity reign. In this transition, our role is unique and vital, 
We stand as stabilizing forces amidst the chaos, offering light and love to those lost in fear and confusion. Our journey is laden with challenges, yet it is imbued with profound meaning and purpose. It's a journey of awakening to our true selves as spiritual beings and co-creators of reality. In moments of uncertainty, let's find solace in the knowledge that we are not alone. Supported by spiritual guides, higher beings, and cosmic forces, we are part of a vast, interconnected web of existence. Our individual choices ripple outward, influencing the collective consciousness. Together, we possess the power to shape a world that mirrors the highest aspirations of humanity and the divine potential within each of us.